Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of slope intercept form, specifically how we can find it in story problems and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a pretty simple story problem here. We're renting a bicycle to tour downtown Fort Worth, Texas. So we're charged $5 the first hour and then $2 for every hour after that. It's pretty typical. It's a, it's a big fee to start with and then it's a smaller fee to continue. So we're supposed to write an equation that can be used to find y, the total cost of running the bicycle for x hours. And so we've got two different things going here. So we've got hour one, I'm going to call that h1, right? That's going to be $5. But then if I rented it for an extra hour, right, that's going to be $2. So that would be $7 so far. And then if I were to rent uh, another hour, that would be $2. And I could just keep going and going and going because it's going to keep adding $2. I could just add these all up. And if I knew how many hours that I was going to uh, have Carlos renting the bicycle, well, then I could easily just use this method to figure out the total cost. But we don't want that. We want an equation. And so what we're going to use here is we are going to use the slope intercept form. So let's take a look at that real quick. Y equals MX plus B. So we've got two variables here. So we know we've got Y. And so that is our total cost. How much does the total uh, bicycle rental cost? And then we've got mx so this x is going to be and they give that to us in our story problem hours so how many hours is carlos going to rent the bicycle now in our slope intercept form y and x are always going to be variables but you've got these two letters this m and this b so this slope is going to be a coefficient here and that we're going to call m and so when we're looking at it on a graph, the slope is going to be the change in y over the change in x. So if we looked at it on a graph, it'd be how steep is that, uh, is that graph going from, uh, from left to right? And is it going up or going down? That would be positive or negative. And then b is going to be our y-intercept. So if we are looking at a graph that is going to see where does that line, this linear equation, where does it cross the y-axis where x equals 0? In our problem, though, we're going to uh, put some initial, we're going to put some money on here because we've got this initial dollar. So no matter what happens, Carlos wakes up and looks at a bicycle, he's going to get charged $5. So that is his starting point. So if we were to graph the cost, and we were to say, all right, so let's see how much he's going to get charged. We don't start at zero if we're going to look at our origin. We're not starting here at zero because he's not charged zero to begin with. He shows up and he gets a bike. The very first thing that's going to happen is he's going to get charged five bucks. So he's actually going to start up here at 5. And that's going to be our y-intercept because he has an initial charge of $5 that does not get multiplied by anything else. Nothing is, is going to uh, change that 5. It's just a constant 5. And so we're going we're gonna to say this is our initial charge. And that's going to be $5. Now, what changes is going to be the amount of hours that he takes. And if we were to look at a graph, it would probably kind of look something like this, to where every hour that he extends it past that first hour, it's going to be $2. And so that slope is going to be, it's going to change 2 for every 1. So once he gets an extra... Uh, an extra hour, it's going to have gone up $2. And so that's going to let us know that we're going to multiply the hours by 2. So that's going to be 2x plus our initial charge of $5. And there's our answer.